we started off by looking at all of the services across Mid Nottinghamshire. And we know that um, if we carry on delivering services as we currently do, that within five years we'll be spending £70 million more just in Mid Nottinghamshire across health and social care than we can afford and that's not sustainable. And what we want to do is try and preempt that and make sure we're not having to make very severe long-term decisions at the end of the, at that time. So we've now got an agreed set of service proposals which are about better integration and better community services primarily. We've had with our acute hospital um, and other providers locally, we've had um, CQC inspections and the acute trust had the KEO review as well last year. So we've got a very good baseline in terms of quality and how we organise services. Having agreed all of that, um, we asked a national advisory service, the clinical advisory service, to say, do these new proposals look as if they're going to be good clinically? Are they safe? And we got a resounding yes about that, so we've got the green light on the clinical model. So we're now in this year moving ahead and implementing those changes. We're starting with things like the PRISM programme, which is building up integrated community teams, and we're rolling that out in Mansfield, Nashville this year. Um, and we're moving forward now and implementing some of the improvements that we that we want to see. Having decided how we want what we want to buy, we've got to decide how we're going to buy it now and how we're going to commission it and incentivise providers to work together more rather than incentivising them to work more separately. So we've got something called a commissioning delivery unit, which will enable us to work through how we're going to buy these services in a more joined up way. And we have. Um, let providers know now that we want to work with the current providers um, and we are expecting and hoping that they will be able to come together to deliver the services that we need going forward. We are also looking at how the buildings that we have are being used, are we using them to the best effect, is there anything we can do better as these services change. And then critically as well, we've now got first, uh, if you like, versions of our primary care strategies. There's one for each of the CCGs and that really describes how GPs, dentists, pharmacists, optometrists will work as part of this new, more joined up system. So that's, that's great because we've got all the elements now that can fit together. So by the autumn, we'll have the results of the estate strategy and see how that is going to impact on the service changes. And we'll know probably by the autumn whether there's going to be any significant service changes that we would need to consult on going forward. So of the £70 million, pounds, we, we've, we've got some really good solutions for £20 million pounds of that already with the bringing services together and reducing duplication and doing more outside of hospital. Um, we know there's another £15 million that we're trying to now plan for, which is around some of the back office and estates type work that we think there's plenty of opportunity there. That will take us through into next year where we will be um, work, again continuing to work with providers, confirming how we're going to buy the new services, working with our providers and, um, and then we'll have really by two years time we'll have a new system in place, a new way of working, people much more joined up and also a new way of paying for those services so that we incentivise providers in the right way, not the wrong way. So the, um, the final bit, destination, is that we'll be a tourist attraction for the quality of our services and we'll have arrived with a new system architecture.